Carlton Douglas Ridenour, known professionally as Chuck D., is an American rapper. As the leader of the rap group Public Enemy, which he co-founded in 1985 with Flavor Flav, Chuck D. helped create politically and socially conscious hip-hop music in the mid-1980s. The source ranked him at no. 12 on their list of the top 50 hip-hop lyricists of all time. Ridenour was born on August 1, 1960 on Long Island, New York. He began writing rhymes after the New York City blackout of 1977. After attending W. Tresper Clark High School, he went to Adelphi University on Long Island to study graphic design, where he met William Drayton. He received a BFA from Adelphi in 1984 and later received an honorary doctorate from Adelphi in 2013. While at Adelphi, Rittenauer co-hosted hip-hop radio show The Super Spectrum Mix Hour as Chuck D. on Saturday nights at Long Island Rock Radio Station WLIR. Designed flyers for local hip-hop events, and drew a cartoon called Tales of the Sky for Adelphi student newspaper The Delphian. Chuck D. in 1991 Rittenauer formed Public Enemy in 1985 with Flavor Flav. Upon hearing Rittenauer's demo track Public Enemy No. 1, fledgling producer-slash-upcoming music mogul Rick Rubin insisted on signing him to his Def Jam label. Their major label releases were Yo! Bum Rush the Show, It Takes a Nation of Millions to Hold Us Back, Fear of a Black Planet. Apocalypse 91. The Enemy Strikes Black, the compilation album Greatest Misses, and Music and Our Mess Age. They also released a full-length album soundtrack for the film He Got Game in 1998. Ridenour also contributed to several episodes of the PBS documentary series The Blues. He has appeared as a featured artist on many other songs and albums, having collaborated with artists such as Janet Jackson, Cool Modi. The Dope Poet Society, Run DMC, Ice Cube, Boom Boom Satellites, Rage Against the Machine, Anthrax, John Mellencamp and many others. In 1990, he appeared on Cool Thing, a song by the alternative rock band Sonic Youth, and along with Flavor Flav, he sang on George Clinton's song Tweakin', which appears on his 1989 album The Cinderella Theory. In 1993, he executive produced Got Him Running Scared, an album by Ichiban Records group Chief Groovy Lou and the Chosen Tribe. In 1996, Rittenauer released Autobiography of Mr. Chuck on Mercury Records. Chuck D. made a rare appearance at the 1998 MTV Video Music Awards, presenting the Video Vanguard Award to the Beastie Boys, whilst commending their musicianship. In November 1998, he settled out of court with Christopher the notorious B.I.G. Wallace's estate over the latter's sampling of his voice in the song Ten Crack Commandments. The specific sampling is Rittenauer counting off the numbers 1 to 9 on the track Shut Him Down. He later described the decision to sue as stupid. In September 1999, he launched a multi-format supersite on the website rapstation.com. The site includes a TV and radio station with original programming, prominent hip-hop DJs, celebrity interviews, free MP3 downloads. Downloadable ringtones by Tone This, social commentary, current events, and regular features on turning rap careers into a viable living. Since 2000, he has been one of the most vocal supporters of peer-to-peer -peer file sharing in the music industry. He loaned his voice to Grand Theft Auto, San Andreas as DJ Fourth Right MC for the radio station Playback FM. In 2000, he collaborated with Public Enemies Gary G. Wiz and MC Light on the theme music to the television show Dark Angel. He appeared with Henry Rollins in a cover of Black Flags Rise Above for the album Rise Above, 24 Black Flag songs to benefit the West Memphis Three. In 2003, he was featured in the PBS documentary Godfathers and Sons in which he recorded a version of Muddy Waters' song Manish Boy with Common, Electric Mud Cats, and Kyle Jason. He was also featured on Z-Trip's album Shifting Gears on a track called Shock and Awe, a 12-inch of the track was released featuring artwork by Shepard Ferry. In 2008 he contributed a chapter to Sound Unbound, sampling digital music and culture edited by Paul D. Miller aka DJ Spooky, and also turned up on the Go Team's album Proof of Youth on. The track Flashlight Fight. He also fulfilled his childhood dreams of being a sports announcer by performing the play-by-play -play commentary in the video game NBA Ballers, chosen one on Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. In 2009, Rittenauer wrote the foreword to the book The Love Ethic, The Reason Why You Can't Find and Keep Beautiful Black Love by Kamau and Akila Butler. He also appeared on Brother Ollie's album, Us. In March 2011, Chuck D. re-recorded vocals with the Dillinger Escape Plan for a cover of Fight the Power. 
Chuck D duetted with rock singer Meat Loaf on his 2011 album Hell in a Handbasket on the song Mad Mad World slash The Good God is a Woman and She Don't Like Ugly. In 2016 Chuck D joined the band Prophets of Rage along with Burial and former members of Rage Against the Machine. In July 2019, Ridden Hour sued Terradome Music Publishing and Reach Music Publishing for $1 million for withholding royalties. Chuck D in 2013 Chuck D is known for his powerful rapping. How to Rap says he has a powerful, resonant voice that is often acclaimed as one of the most distinct and impressive in hip-hop. Chuck says this was based on listening to Mel Mel and sportscasters such as Marv Albert. Chuck often comes up with a title for a song first. He writes on paper, though sometimes edits using a computer. He prefers to not punch in or overdub vocals. Chuck listed his favorite rap albums in Hip Hop Connection, NWA, Straight Outta Compton Boogie Down Productions, Criminal Minded Run DMC. Tougher Than Leather Big Daddy Kane, Looks Like a Job For. Stetsa Sonic, In Full Gear Ice Cube, America's Most Wanted Dr. Dre. The Chronic Day La Soul, Three Feet High and Rising Eric B and Rakim, Follow the Leader Run DMC, Raising Hell, It Was the First Record. That made me realize this was an album-oriented genre, Chuck D identifies as black, as opposed to African or African American. In a 1993 issue of Dirt magazine covering a taping of In the Mix hosted by Alimi Ballard at the Apollo, Dan Field writes, at one point, Chuck bristles a bit at the term African American. He thinks of himself as black and sees nothing wrong with the term. Besides, he says, having been born in the United States and lived his whole life here, he doesn't consider himself African. Being in public enemy has given him the chance to travel around the world, an experience that really opened his eyes and his mind. He says visiting Africa and experiencing life on a continent where the majority of people are black gave him a new perspective and helped him get in touch with his own history. He also credits a trip to the ancient Egyptian pyramids at Giza with helping him appreciate the relative smallness of man. Ridden Hour is politically active, he co-hosted Unfiltered on Air America Radio, testified before Congress in support of peer-to-peer MP3 sharing, and was involved in a 2004 rap political convention. He has continued to be an activist, publisher, lecturer, and producer. Addressing the negative views associated with rap music, he co-wrote the essay book Fight the Power, Rap, Race, and Reality with Yusuf Jha. He argues that music and art and culture is escapism, and escapism sometimes is healthy for people to get away from reality but sometimes the distinction is blurred and that's when things could lead a young mind. In a direction. He also founded the record company Slam Jams and acted as narrator in Karim Adwar's short film Bling, Consequences and Repercussions, which examines the role of conflict diamonds in Bling fashion. Despite Chuck D and Public Enemy's success, Chuck D claims that popularity or public approval was never a driving motivation behind their work. He is admittedly skeptical of celebrity status, revealing in a 1999 interview with Bomb Magazine that, the key for the record companies is to just keep making more. And more stars, and make the ones who actually challenge our way of life irrelevant. The creation of celebrity has clouded the minds of most people in America. Europe and Asia. It gets people off the path they need to be on as individuals. In an interview with Le Monde published January 29, 2008, Chuck D. stated, That rap is devolving so much into a commercial enterprise, that the relationship between the rapper and the record label is that of slave to a master. He believes that nothing has changed for African Americans since the debut of Public Enemy and, although he thinks that an Obama-Clinton alliance is great, he does not feel that the establishment will allow anything of substance to be accomplished. He stated that French President Nicolas Sarkozy is like any other European elite, He has profited through the murder, rape, and pillaging of those less fortunate and he refuses to allow equal opportunity for those men and women from Africa. In this article, he defended a comment made by Professor Griff in the past that he says was taken out of context by the media. The real statement was a critique of the Israeli government and its treatment of the Palestinian people. Chuck D. stated that it is public enemy's belief that all human beings are equal. In an interview with the magazine Go published in June 2008, he spoke of today's mainstream urban music seemingly relishing the addictive euphoria of materialism and sexism. Perhaps being the primary cause of many people harboring resentment towards the genre and its future. However, he has expressed hope for its resurrection, saying it's only going to be dead if it doesn't talk about the messages of life as much as the messages of death and non-movement, citing artists such as N.Y. Oil, M.I.A. and The Roots as socially conscious artists who push the envelope creatively. A lot of cats are out there doing it, on the web and all over. 
they're just not placing their career in the hands of some major corporation. In 2010, Chuck D. released a track, Tear Down That Wall, he said, I talked about the wall not only just dividing the U.S. and Mexico but the states of California. New Mexico and Texas. But Arizona, it's like, come on. Now they're going to enforce a law that talks about basically racial profiling. He is on the board of the Trans Africa Forum, a pan-African organization that is focused on African, Caribbean and Latin American issues. He has been an activist with projects of the RIVCOMs, such as Refuse Fascism and Stop Mass Incarceration Network. Carl Dix interviewed Chuck D. on the RIVCOMs YouTube program The RNL, Revolution Nothing Less. Dash Show. Chuck D. lives in California, and lost his home in the Thomas Fire of December 2017 January 2018. Studio Album Studio Album Studio Album Studio EP Studio Albums Compilation Albums. Thanks for watching.